G'day and welcome to another video with Better Picks. Hope this finds everyone well. As many of you would know based on previous videos, my primary method of organizing uh, my digital assets, namely photos, is through Adobe Bridge. It's a fantastic platform to be able to keep images organized. Uh, one of the things I love about it the most is it replicates the file structure and folder structure that you have on your hard drive. So rather than creating a separate sort of method of storing images or, or looking uh, at images in different places, it directly represents uh, the folder structure. And the reason that that's really Really important for me is because I'll often be working across many different drives over the course of a normal working week and sometimes I'll even be editing for other photographers and I need to be able to access quickly uh, and efficiently images that are sitting within their folder structure. So having that replication of uh, the folder structure on your hard drive is a really handy thing with Bridge. One of the features that I use on a very regular basis, in fact I use it for every single shoot, is the renaming feature. Uh, and the best thing about it is that you can batch rename images, so multiple images in one go, and it's a really handy feature. So let's have a quick look at it. You can see here I've got a bunch of images and they're images from different places uh, shot at different times but uh, all just thrown into a single folder. You can see over here on the left hand side that there are 10 images with that five star rating and I can select just those images uh, so that I'm only looking at those, uh, the ones that I've identified that I want to edit. Now let's say for example if I wanted to rename these files, obviously I could go through and rename them individually but oh, it's just completely time consuming and not an efficient way to go at all. So if I select all of them, so either Control or Command A, right click, and you see if we head just down past halfway, we've got Batch Rename. You can see there's a separate dialog box that pops up and it gives us a few options uh, when we're batch renaming within Bridge. You do have the option to uh, create a default there, but um, I tend to create a new file name for each rename because often it'll be dependent on a trip or an outing that I've completed, or it may be for a client that I'm shooting for. I always rename in the same folder. However, you do have the option to move to another folder or copy to another folder. Where that would be really handy, particularly for copy to another folder, is if you want to maintain the original files with the original file names, if for whatever reason you need to refer back to them. I tend to rename in the same folder because I just like to keep things simple. All of my raw or digital negative assets I always keep in the raw folder and that way I know exactly where I need to go to find them if I need them in the future. All right, so we have here just the next section down, the option for new file names. Now generally I use text and then a sequence number. And the reason that I do that is the text will identify either the outing or the trip that I've done, or it might identify the client that I'm shooting for, as well as the date that uh, I shot for them or the date that the event was uh, that I photographed. And then with an underscore and a sequential number afterwards, usually starting at one. You can see you've also got the option here for how many digits you want to have within that sequential number. So for example, in this situation I have 10 images, so I want to have two digits, or at least two digits. Um, if you have over a thousand images, then you would have at least four digits. Um, but for this one, we're just going to use two. Now, while I've got text and sequential number, you do have a bunch of other options. New extension, current file name, preserve file name, sequence number, sequence letter, date and time, metadata, folder name, string, substitution. Now, I use text because that is what works best for me. But obviously, you can use whatever option in whatever order. Um, uh, for your rename uh, that works for the particular use. So in this situation, I'm going to change that over to image and underscore and the number one with two digits. And you can see down here, it gives a preview um, as to what that'll look like. So the current file name and then the new file name, you can see their image underscore 01.raf. And it also tells me that 10 files will be processed. All right, let's hit rename. You can see it just goes through a process of renaming those files. Obviously, depending on the number of files that you're renaming will depend on how quickly uh, it will happen. All right, so that was pretty quick. And you can see now all of those images have a new file name. So currently, if we have a look up at the way in which we are sorting uh, the images, it's by file name. So obviously, that will be in order um, of the file's uh, name. 
If we go by date created, you can see it swaps around the order there quite a bit. And you can see that this image was obviously shot before this one, before this one, before this one, and so on. So now if we wanted to, we can rename those files. Again, select them all, right click batch rename. We're gonna start at one again and rename. And we are now renaming them in the order that, of the date that they were created. So that means if we look at these images in any folder, whether it's Finder or Windows Explorer, the images will now appear in the order of those file names and the date that they were created. What about if you wanted to create uh, an order that was just particular to what you want to create the order? Say for example, you're shooting with two cameras and the date and timestamp within the metadata on the cameras is slightly out of sync and you need to just adjust some images so that they are in a specific order. All we need to do is select the images. All we need to do is select the images and move them into the particular order that we want them to be. Then. We can once again select them all, right click, batch rename, and we can go image, starting at one, and rename. You'll notice after I've moved the images around manually, up here on the right hand side, it says sort manually. So then when you see those images in the folder, they're gonna be sorted in the order that you've set, and obviously renamed the files from one to 10. This is a fantastic way to obviously help Stay organized with your digital assets so that you can uh, identify perhaps where the image was taken, on what date, uh, or by what client. Generally speaking, for uh, the images that I shoot for clients, I'll always start with an abbreviation of their organization or company name. And that way the images are easy to identify and it's just a more personalized touch for that particular client when they see their name within the image file. Um, name itself. So as you can see, the battery name feature within Bridge is a really useful one and a great way to help stay organized with your images, set them in specific order and give them specific names on bulk, which certainly helps to save time. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you've enjoyed this video. As always, any questions are welcome in the comments below and we look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.